a brand new M3 MacBook Pro is coming in 2024 with a whole new design. And also we have more details on the M3 chipset revealed in today's report. Let's go over the details about this and also cover the details about the specs for the new MacBook Pro including screen size, design and other details and of course give you the latest on the MacBook Pro M3 release date and price as well. But first let's jump in there with what the MacBook Pro is essentially being upgraded to. So for a long time Apple have always provided the smaller lower spec MacBook Pro and a higher spec MacBook Pro for the last 10 years or so and when we had the sort of the Intel chips sets we normally on the 13 inch macbook pros sort of either got basically a dual core even a quad core in its later days on that macbook pro for the 13 inch model then after in the later years we actually got the quad core and then after that we got to apple silicon and apple decided to make the 13 inch macbook pro just have the standard m chipset inside it so we had the likes of the m1 and the m2 but then for the likes of the 14 and the 16 inch macbook pros the larger models they have that m1 pro and m2 pro and also that m2 max as well and the m1 max inside it so the 13 inch one has always been considered sort of a sort of a lower spec model inside it as already mentioned, we have the M2 chipset already inside the MacBook Pro, but the actual design of the MacBook Pro hasn't changed a bit, probably in the last sort of about seven years now. Even when we had the Intel chipset inside the 13 inch MacBook Pro, we had the touch bar design, and this design has stayed the same. We've had refreshers, like I said, on the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with brand new design, and even the MacBook Air in 2022, but nothing on the MacBook Pro 13 inch. However, this year it looks like that this could be changing. So for design and screen size of the new MacBook Pro M3. So we're hoping that this year for the first time we'll actually see a brand new design for the MacBook Pro with the M3 chipset inside it. It's most likely the new design would be thinner than say the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros but the other difference it would be is that there would be probably a few less additional ports than what we have on those two models. So for example we probably have more than we got on the 13 inch MacBook Air so we're probably expecting maybe a MagSafe case capability and SD card slot and also a HDMI port too. But as this is the smaller MacBook Pro, we'll probably only get, say, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. But for the actual screen size as well, it'll probably stay the same size as the current MacBook Air, what is a 13.6-inch display. It won't go up to a 14-inch or even beyond 14-inch because we have that already. And also, don't expect probably a ProMotion display inside it. We'll probably have the standard 60Hz display too. Battery life is also going to be probably very similar or maybe just slightly more mainly because we've got that next sort of generation of chipset inside it but still at the end of the day the larger sort of 16 inch MacBook Pro will have the better battery life out there. For chipsets, we're expecting an M3 normal to be put inside this MacBook Pro, and it's very likely that we see a significant speed increase of, say, around about 70% over the original M1 Apple Silicon that came out in 2020. We're expecting more cores again, and also a bigger factor, as you can see here, is that the new chipset will be made on a 3 nanometer die that will improve efficiencies in speed and battery life all around. Now, having said all of this, at this stage, I will mention that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof they will come true for the new MacBook Pro. However, if you're still watching this video, then you're as curious as I'm knowing what is said about the new MacBook Pro anyway. So, for release date next, the M2 journey is now complete. At WWDC 2023, we got the brand new 15-inch MacBook Air with the M2 chipset, and we also got introduced to the M2 Ultra inside the Mac. Mac Studio and also the Mac Pro. Now something else that was announced at WWDC was the new Vision Pro and that, that Vision Pro what is powering it is an M2 chipset but Apple said that this new Vision Pro is not going to be coming out till the early part of 2024 and Apple most likely will want to get this out before they start in releasing any M3 chipset devices because this is going to be their brand new 
king device, the Vision Pro, so I can't see them releasing an M3 chipset beforehand. So with this, it is most likely the earliest we will see this brand new MacBook Pro will probably be around March time in 2024. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is gonna be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some AirPods 3 as well, what's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video, or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. As I already said, guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically, these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or be told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, Example, and basically you need to pay for the shipping, please do report it here on YouTube. All you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest. Just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there. So to summarize again, all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes. And with that guys, it's back to the video. So then, let's go over the specs next of all for the brand new M3 Pro MacBook Pro. So first of all, we are probably going to be getting at last a new design for the MacBook Pro M3. And I would say the design is in its own way a bit similar to the current MacBook Pro that we have right now. What I mean by it is the 14 and 16 inch mixed with say the MacBook Air 13 inch that we have right now. So it's most likely we'll still be getting that exact same 13.6 6 LED rest of the display that we have in the 13 inch MacBook Air and this will be a 60 hertz refresh rate screen it will not be a pro motion 120 hertz refresh rate the storage options will be a choice between 256 gigabytes of storage all the way going up to two terabytes if you want that we will have the m3 chipset inside it and that will be made of a brand new 10 core cpu and also a 12 core gpu option this time round. and with that it will be made on that brand new three nanometer die that will give it even more efficiency and even more speed inside this macbook pro we'll have the choice again between eight to all the way up to 24 gigabytes of ram if you want to do that the body itself will be made out of aluminum or aluminium if you're here in the UK and then you'll also get the MagSafe port two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI, and an SD card slot 2. What is in addition to what you'd normally get on, say, the MacBook Airs, that HDMI and that SD card slot. You'll also be able to still get this in the space grey or the silver colours. The webcam will also finally be upgraded to a 1080p camera in the top notch up there. And battery life will probably be up to about 23 hours with all those efficiencies with the M3 chipset and also this modified new design. Prices with the standard base model, the 8 gigabytes of RAM will start at 1299 US dollars but if you went up in storage but kept the same RAM 512 1499 and then 1 terabyte 1699 and then 2 terabytes 2099 US dollars. 
And on that note, guys, it's also time to wrap up this video. What do you think of the brand new MacBook Pro M3? Is it shaping up to be a great new MacBook? I would love to know your thoughts, so please do put them down in the comments below. And also, guys, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, like I said already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.